I couldn't actually Marie Kondo my wardrobe because my bed would literally collapse with all the clothes on it. If my mum walked in and saw the amount of clothes I had in one big pile, I would be disowned. Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the first episode of a little series on my channel which is going to be cleaning out my wardrobe. So I've got two sets of double door wardrobes which look super neat when they're shut. No other drawers or anything, everything I have is in these wardrobes. When you open them, it's a bit of a disaster. So I think because of the amount of stuff I have, we're going to have to split the video up a little bit because I love watching really in-depth ones. But I also know you guys might not want to sit here for like a whole hour. So normally I don't say subscribe to the start of the videos because like you don't even know if you like me yet. But if you do want to see all of this get tackled, you will definitely need to subscribe. Because today we're just focusing on all my hoodies, t-shirts and other casual tops. Because I do have a lot. But yeah, I don't think... I'm just I'm just procrastinating opening these doors because it's, it's pretty bad. But I guess it is time. So here we are in the first wardrobe. I'm not doing all of this today, which is doing the hanging stuff, but I thought I should explain the system. Up here is all my hoodies and jumpers, and then my work uniform will hang in here too. And then I have my just casual graphic tees down the bottom and plain tees and gym stuff in the corner. And then behind me are all my jeans. In here I keep all the random stuff, belts, liners, bra straps, pasties, whatever. And then through here is my underwear, bras, socks, pajamas, and comfy pants, you know, trackies, leggings, shorts to lounge around in, stuff like that. Up the top is a whole nother mess. My bags are just shoved in there, and then there's computer boxes up even higher, which fall down. So my idea with this part of my wardrobe was to be able to make really quick, basic, casual outfits and just get out the door, or just be at home. Like, I don't have to touch my other wardrobe at all when I'm just chilling at home grab a t-shirt, grab a hoodie, grab some trackies, and I'm done. This is all my basic stuff here. Does that, does that make sense? I feel like that made sense. So for today, we're just tackling all the hoodies and jumpers and stuff, all the t-shirts, and I've got some sort of nicer form-fitting t-shirts in the other wardrobe, a couple of like casual long sleeves, things like that that we will do after we get through this. I'm kind of a little bit closer to start with this top half, which is all the hoodies, and then, like I said, I keep my work uniform in here. So I have a bunch of plain black long sleeves just to wear under it when I get cold. So they're pretty ratty. I might actually get rid of some of these. I'll get rid of this one from Supre. I've had it for years, but like, can you guys see how ratty that is? That definitely needs to go. And this is one of these thermal ones from Uniqlo, and this is just one from Target that looks like crap, but just to wear under another shirt is fine. Oh, and then this is a cropped one from Cotton On, which I'll also wear on its own. It's like not super cropped, but a little bit, and the sleeves are a bit shorter. They're all basic, so I don't need to try those on. Hoodies, I can tell what my favourites are because they're all up at the front. The stuff in the back, I don't even know when I last wore it. So I've got Shadow Hill hoodies, which was such a thing back in the day. I'm going to try these on for you guys because I have them in two different sizes. So if you want to know for reference how they will look, I will put them on. I'm so going to get my makeup all over this. Okay, so this is a Shadow Hill hoodie in a medium, and I'll just show you the back. So this was a style that was really popular like a few years ago, and I bought three of them, and they're like, I think they ended up being like $100 each. Um, whoops. But I wear these all the time. I love them. Actually, let me just put on the blue one first, but this is definitely a keeper. Also, regretting wearing lip gloss, especially, jeez. So here is the large in the Shadow Hill. Definitely a fair bit bigger. And this one, instead of having white, it's all blue. Yeah, this is a size large. I just thought it would be helpful because they're like so expensive. And as far as I'm aware, just online only. Definitely not in Australia. So if you are interested in Shadow Hill, these are a few years old. But that's how they fit. I also have a black one which has the white writing like this one here. But that one's in the wash. Because I literally wear these all the time. Like I spent so much on them. But I feel like it ends up being worth it because of how much I wear them. I don't really want to take this one off because it's just so cozy and comfortable, actually. <laughs> but, okay, onwards. Okay, I'm not going to try everything on because we'll be here literally forever. But we have a Paramore hoodie up next. This is merch from their most recent Australian tour. 
this is so warm this is also one i wear all the time like these and my shadow hill are like my main things it's just super warm on the inside and i love this it's just so nice this is this is definitely a keeper plus i love paramore so i need to keep it i used to have heaps of paramore merch but like i kind of grew up with the styles i got because i bought them all when i was like 14 so i'm glad to have some of it back in my life this one here is a keeper this is just a go-to throw it on with jeans but not absolutely be swamped in a hoodie like this thing. This is a factory one in a medium. This is just like a staple one to just throw on. And this guy, I think this one will go. This is just from Kmart. It is so warm on the inside. I got a size 12 though, and I just kind of wish I got it a bit bigger. Oh, ooh, ow, okay. I will try this one on to show you, and I'm going to get rid of this one. Don't think it's Depop worthy though. Probably just go to an op shop. I don't know, I just, I wish I just got it bigger, I just don't really like how it fits. I'll do it up, although I really wouldn't wear it done up unless I was really cold. Yeah, it's just, yeah, you know, I like them bigger, so this one will go. And we have another one, which is also a keeper, I'm just going to throw this on because I love it. This is from H&M, it is super duper long, like it's only a few centimetres above the knee, and it's knitted and has a big floppy hood like that this is one that i'll just grab and go and throw on over anything i feel like because it's knitted it looks a little bit neater but then also a little bit more grandma like that weird grandma chic but not chic i don't know what i'm saying i just really like it so this is a keeper this is a bit more lightweight than these ones as well which is nice i feel like i'm off to a really bad start because obviously my most worn hoodies will end up at the front because i'm always reaching for them so i've only got one or two nose so far this thing is from Factory, it's Fila, I love it, it's not exactly a hoodie but it's like basically a hoodie without the hood. This sky, it's fantastic, I love my bright colours, my reds, my green, my white, my colours, I don't know what I'm saying, it's a keeper. This is something that in theory I would love, I feel like I've worn it once. This is from Cotton On, it says Blast from the past and like it's got all the bright colours, it's casual but cute, but I just don't wear it. And I've literally had this for years. I'll chuck this one on because this would probably go on deeper. Okay, this looks so bad if it's a t-shirt underneath. Oh my god. Okay, let me just tuck that up. I'm just wearing leggings. Um, so that's kind of where it sits. And part of me wants to be like, maybe I should wear it, but no, no, because if I haven't reached for it in that long, why am I going to now? So it needs to go. I need to say goodbye to it. Moving on, I'm gonna grab the two white hoodies. Oh, there's my black shadow hill hoodie. Whoops. But anyway, the two white hoodies. I'm not trying these on because I've got makeup on and I'm not about that life. I love both of them though. So let's go with this one first. This is my Panic at the Disco hoodie, which I really love from their 2018 tour. And it's got all these graphics on the back. I don't really wear either of these to lounge around at home though because I'm a terrible messy eater. And then this one here, it's from a brand I found on Twitter, ready to go. So it's got roses all down the side and on this sleeve here, the other sleeve and stuff's completely plain, which I really like that the design's just on one side. Then you've got a rose with a two, and this is embroidered as well, which is a really nice touch. These aren't, but this here is embroidered. So I love this one. I don't think this hoodie's out anymore. I think the guy just released his new collections. I was obsessed with this. I'm pretty sure I used a postal shipping service, but it wasn't. It wasn't international shipping, so I did like a forwarding service to get this here because I just think it's fantastic. And like I said, I found my Shadow Hill hoodie, black, white. There you go. We've seen that already. They're all keepers. That's a lot, but they're all keepers. Okay. This one, already looking at it, I know it's time for it to go. This is one of the two knockoffs that I've ever bought. I really don't like knockoffs, but it's knockoff of Yeezy. I don't have, have money and if I did I wouldn't buy a green hoodie. I believe it's the Yeezy. Yes, because it's got a nice Yeezus tag here. I was interested in it because it had zips here on the side, which do unzip. But I just never really wore it. I don't know why I bought it. I will try this on because I'll probably put this on Depop because I've never actually worn it. So that's trying it on obviously. See, you've got the zips that you can have open if you wanted to, which would be cool for layering. Um, but I don't know. I don't really like how it fits. I'm not really a big fan of the colour on me. Why did I get this? 
unsure. And I'm back to being small. So we're saying goodbye to this one. Then we have this jumper from Lassen's, which I really like, but like, do I need it? Because I have a knitted plain jumper, like a knitwear one. Just went and grabbed it. So like I have this, which is just a plain knitted jumper from Beyond Her, which I think you can get like glue and stuff like that. So I feel like I don't need both. Like the colors so similar, like literally the same thing. One's knitted and one's not. And I wear the knitted one all the time. So I feel like as much as I like this guy, should probably go, I think. I feel like that's the wise thing to do. I also haven't worn this in ages, but like I wore this last week. So, all right. This guy can go. And then we have another similar style jumper. This one says LA. I don't really want to keep it. I love the color. I have worn it a few times, but like I don't need LA on it. I wish it said something else. I don't know why. I'm over the LA. This one can also move on. It is from H&M as well. And this is a large. I think I hauled this years ago and I was so baffled that it was a large because I'll show you guys. For sizing reference, I normally wear a size 8 if I want something to be fitted and a 10 if I want it to be a little bit looser. And this is a large, remember. I'm sorry, how is this a large? Like, I just get this and I just think I'm on the smaller side. There are girls who are like, Size 12, 14, 16, 18, you know, where are their options? If this is a large, they're not going to have many options, which H&M sizing is literally the worst. This is a large, but this isn't on me. And oh, I love the color so much, but no, I really hate the big LA. So goodbye to this. This one here, I think is a keeper. This is just like another one that I'll just throw on. It's more lightweight as well, which is good because a lot of these are quite thick. So I think it's good to have something lightweight that I can just throw on casually with anything. It's spalding. I don't even know where I got this. It's been in my wardrobe as long as I remember. I think it's good to just have some basic jumpers like that. Onwards. Okay, this guy is a bit weird. This says Waterways Hero on the front and on the back. I was in the environment group in high school from like maybe year 8 to year 10 and we'd go to like conferences and stuff and they gave us all these hoodies and I held on to this for so long because it's really soft and warm but I have so many other options now that I might just get rid of this. It doesn't really have any like sentimental value to me. Things more like my signed school shirts and stuff do. So I think it's just time to say goodbye to this guy. But I've literally had this since I was maybe like 14 or 15. And then I'm nearly done with the hoodies. Where us go? We have this one, which is from Factory. I just realized I skipped another Factory hoodie. We'll do this one in a second. This is like a nice blush pink, as you can see. I just don't wear it. I like my bright colors more. And I feel like the feel of this one from Factory, which I'll show you in a sec, is a bit better. I think it's because it's unisex. So yeah, this one, it's really nice if you're into this color, but it's just not really for me. Okay, it's actually been like an hour between what you just saw and now because my camera battery died and I've lost my spare. So I went and ate some pancakes and now I'm back. Sorry if you can hear the heater kicking on, but it's starting to get cold. But anyway, I was going to put on this orange factory hoodie. So this is the large in the factory hoodie and I think this is the unisex one. I don't know, but I really love this one. I'm actually going to keep it on for now because like I said, I'm cold. So the last couple of things up here. We have this. Oh, it's wrong way and hung up backwards. This is from Cotton On. It's a small but it's meant to be quite oversized. It's pretty lightweight. I've actually worn this in videos from like years and years and years ago. I can't remember what video but I remember wearing this in a video or two. And I loved it at the time. Oops, let's get the sleeve out. But I just haven't reached for it in years. So that's a different sign of this one. She's a boob off. Oh, I feel like it looks so nice with like black jeans and white sneakers. Mm, now I want to keep it. I'm really tempted to keep it, which I know I shouldn't because I haven't worn it in forever. Why should I keep it? But like I'm just imagining it with just like black jeans, white sneakers, real simple, but it'll be really comfortable. I don't know. I don't want to keep this because I shouldn't. I will keep it. And if I haven't worn it in like a month, it'll go. So we'll see if I can bring this back into my wardrobe. I'm gonna give it like a month, okay? So you guys have to come back in a month and comment and ask me if I'm still wearing this or not. That's the end of the hoodies and jumpers, which I feel like 
I think it's a bit too much, but that's like a pretty big difference, I think. I'm pleased with that. So let's move on to the t-shirts, which I have a billion of. I can probably see the giant chunk of white t-shirt down there. So let's just get into it. First up, this rainbow t-shirt. It's from the brand Bershka. Got it off ASOS. Would have liked the size down, but I still really, really love it. This is a large. I think this might just be because I'm cold. I'm only going to try on the ones that I'm not sure about because I know I like this one. I know it fits. It's got purple down the bottom as well. This is a really nice fun t-shirt. Then I have this one, which I think I got from Cotton On Men's. This is just for buying around the house. There's not much to say about it. So this one I will keep. So many white t-shirts. Got picked up a couple. Feel a t-shirt, also from Factory. And I love it. I think it has a teeny tiny spaghetti stain, but it's so small you can barely notice. I wear it all the time. At home, out, all the time. Fantastic. And then this one, I also really love really bright colours. I got this from Uniqlo. Uniqlo has some really good graphic tees and I'll wear this one a lot as well. A couple more. This one here I got off ASOS. It's Puma. It's neon orange. I love this one so much. It's a simple basic tee but it's got some standout features. It's got a smiley face so this is a keeper. But this one I think I will be getting rid of. It says Diet Coke. I'm an avid Diet Coke drinker. I've got Diet Coke literally sitting right over there right now. You'll see in all like my trying food series that I've always got a Diet Coke. I've been drinking it as long as I can remember. It's probably really bad for me, but oh well. But I just don't actually wear the t-shirt. Considering maybe moving it to pajamas because I tend to wear pajama pants and then just old t-shirts. So maybe I'll move this one to pajamas because I don't have too many left because they get old, they get holes. I don't even remember where this is from. The relaxed T-bar. T-bar's retired. But yeah, this might just become a pajama t-shirt. I think that's what I'm thinking. Because I don't want to fully let it go, but I'm not going to wear it out and about. Just grabbing a stack of the white ones. I'm just going to go through this a little bit faster. I feel like I spent ages on the hoodies. This is iconic. This is from Kmart from like Father's Day a couple years ago. Hashtag swag dad. Hashtag I'm awesome. Hashtag the best. I love it. I'll wear this out. I'll wear this at home. I don't care. It's fantastic. Definitely, definitely seen. This is a guest tee. This one I wouldn't just wear at home. It's a little bit nicer. Where did I get you from? ASOS again? The iconic maybe? Don't know. One of those sites. And I love my red, white, and black. Good combo. So again, keeping... This isn't going well, I have too many white t-shirts. This one here I bought in New Zealand and I find it hilarious. So this is archery for beginners and it's got kids firing blindfolded arrows at someone else. This not, is this not fantastic? I think it is. It is so soft too. But the thing is, it's double XL because it's all I have left. And I feel like even tucking it in and stuff, it's just too bulky. I might chuck it on to show you. <laughs> Don't want to take off the hoodie, but I will show you what I mean. As I'm wearing it, it's not actually as big as I remember. I have washed it once, so maybe it shrunk and I didn't realise. Well, it's worked out well because now it's much more wearable. <laughs> so that is it there with the length. Actually, first time I've been glad that something has shrunk a little bit in the wash because this is meant to be a double XL. Tell me how this is a double XL. So I'm actually kind of pleased. I'm going to have to be careful next time I wash it, but it actually worked out well for me. I guess this one is staying. Then we have this one which is from the No Filter Tour, which was Grace Halbert, Mamrie Hart, and Hannah Hart. I read the name the wrong time, but you get me. Because I went and saw them 2015, damn. It's cute, but I don't really watch any of them anymore. I haven't in years. So it doesn't really have any sentimental value, and I don't know. I feel like I feel like this one can go. I mean, at least some light t-shirts are going right, some of them. Like what two? I want to quickly mention the one that I was originally wearing at the start of this video. It's obviously like super clinical now. This is from Dangerfield, I think I got it from like years and years ago. And it says, well, this day was a total waste of makeup, but I will be keeping this one. I thought it was appropriate for today because I'm literally got a full face of makeup on to clear out my wardrobe. <laughs> so that one will stay. And then my last white t-shirt here, this is the Eve Skidaris merch, who I saw just a couple months ago actually. Yes, I love the design and red, white, and black. So 
I pointed at the wrong colours again, I just don't know how to point today, but you know, you get it. Cute design, the one I got this recently, so it's not fun anyway. Alright, let's do the yellow chunk. First up, great personality. Obviously suits me. This is from Adolescent Clothing, which is from ASOS. It does have a tiny hole in it, but it's really tiny. Oh, it's over here. I love this one. You can see it's a little bit worn, or maybe you can't see on the camera, but it is a little bit faded. Bright yellow, super fun colour. So a keeper. They're all keepers. What's wrong with me? I was like, I'm gonna be brutal, but I forgot how much I love all these t-shirts. Although this one can go. This is from Cotton On, I believe. It has like a Disney thing. Like everywhere had a Disney thing for a little while. And it's got Mickey Mouse and it says staff. And then the back is just plain. I got this, I thought it would just be cute, like tucked into jeans, like mum jeans or something. It's like that 90s dad look, dad look mum jeans. Do you get the vibe? I mean, I don't know. But I just never really wore it. A couple times at home just to bum around in, but like I've got a billion t-shirts already. So unless it's something really sloppy like that striped one from earlier, or it's the one I actually like when wear out, there's no point. It's, this is like me, this one can go. This here, we have more merch. This is Tonight Alive merch. Yellow, white, it's just really happy. And I like merch that isn't obviously merch. So I like this and it's embroidered, which is really nice. And then last one, this is a fantastic shirt. It's not as comfortable as the other ones. Like it's a bit of a weird fabric, but it's Puma. It's all striped, all colors, colors that I all love. More keepers, I need to store up. Am I being bad? No, you're good. Wait, no, am I, am I keeping too much stuff? Do you think yes? Ryan's here in the corner. Speaking of Ryan, this was his t-shirt. Ryan's old t-shirt can go. This is another one that I just bum around the house in, but I don't need it. Don't need Ryan. <laughs> You're not listening to me. Mm -hmm. I was just talking crap about you. Okay. Bunch of proper pinks. I feel like these can both go. So we have this here from Cotton On, again from the men's, and then this this is the other knockoff I was talking about, Antisocial Social Club. But back to the first one, it's just got a little donut and a dagger going through it. Just a bit too long for me, I think. So there's no point in me having this. And then this one, I actually have another Antisocial Social Club top and it's a legit one, which is this here. You can see this from, act which is actually legit, has it printed on the inside. And then this fake just has a tag. Plus it says made in Thailand. And I don't think Antisocial Social Club is made in Thailand. Yeah, this is made in USA. So I got a fake because my plan was to turn it into a crop top. And I thought, these are like stupid expensive when you add in shipping to Australia for a t-shirt. Because this is when they were pretty new, I think I bought this. It was like not the first drop where it was just all black and white, but like shortly after they did colors. And I thought, I don't want to buy a legit one, try to crop it and then mess it up. So I bought fake. But then I realized I don't want to cut off like the club, but if I do it too low, it's not going to be a good crop. So I just never did it and I never wore it. So this one will go. And then this is my legit one. I love the colors. Again, my bright colors I love. So I will be keeping this one. This is a medium. I'm going to put it on for size reference uh, because they are kind of expensive. So if you want to order one and it's a pain to return it, then you know. So there we go. This is the medium which fits like this. Okay, onward. We got some neutral tone thingies over here. Oh, I've just grabbed a whole bunch of them. This blue Topshop t-shirt. Used to wear it all the time. I haven't actually worn it in forever. So you know what? It can just go. Just plain blue. It's like nothing fancy or exciting. So goodbye Topshop tee. I think the same can be said this H&M one. I used to wear it all the time but i haven't worn it in forever it's getting kind of ratty now so the tension in one can also go now when i talk about being nostalgic with some merch this is one of them this is paramore i don't wear this out anymore it's one of the ones that's like reserved for home but this i believe is the first tour yes from 2010 the first paramore tour i went to this is an extra small but it doesn't really fit like one it fits a bit bigger Oh, 16 extra small, that's, yeah, not what I would call an extra small, but it's got all the dates on the back, so old, and this one I just have to keep because it's so special to me. Then we have a recent Paramore merch, which just says hard times, embroidered, I like all this embroidery, 
and I will also be keeping this one because again it's like merch that's not obvious merch so that's something I appreciate. This t-shirt here, I think I got from Cotton On as well, I've like never really worn it out so I feel like there's no point in me really keeping it so I guess this one can go too. And then we just have some basic grey t-shirts. I just like these to throw on, they're v-necks which I feel like sometimes looks a little bit nicer than a scoop or like a really high scoop, I don't know. But they're still just a comfy t-shirt. This one is from Silent Theory which I think you can get at like All About Eve or Edge or Blue. They all have similar brands, I forget exactly which brand is at which. But at one of the three, Silent Theory. And then this one's just from Kmart. So they will be kept. And then onto the blacks. Okay, I just hung everything up because it was too hard. This is my Buffy shirt, I thought it was so cool. I got it off eBay and I ordered, I think, what did I order? A medium. And this fits like body fun, I guess. Okay, so this is the Buffy top on. Yeah, I was hoping for like a big kind of oversized thing like a lot of my t-shirts are. And then I got this. And there were measurements, but like I don't really know how to measure actual t-shirts. I generally just get a medium and it's fine. But this is like a small, even an extra small. Got Buffy, Spike, Angel, and Willow, and I think it's a really cool design. But because it doesn't fit how I want it to fit, I'm just not wearing it. So what's the point in ke keeping it? Like, there's no point in keeping anything that you really like if you're not gonna wear it because it fits weird. I have to sadly say goodbye to my Buffy. It's about to take that off, but I didn't have another shirt to put on. And I have this tee, which fits quite similarly. It fits a little bit looser than this one. I got this from an op shop. It's originally American Apparel, and it says Bimbo 365 Club. I do really like these colours, the red, white, black. I've mentioned that a few times already. I will be keeping this one because it's such a good find. It's also a lot softer, this one, than this. And it's that little bit baggier that makes me like it a little bit more. So this is a keeper. Then yes, more merch. This is Tonight Alive. This is a fair few years old. Uh, honestly, the design isn't really my thing. I don't think it was even my thing at the time, but I was like 15 or 16 and like, oh my god, concert, gotta buy all the merch. So I have no problem getting rid of this. And I just realised it's not black, but I accidentally skipped one top that is grey, but merch. That's what made me remember. This Panic at the Disco t-shirt. So I bought this, not at their last concert in Australia, but the one before. They did like two shows in like two years or something. And I just really wanted Panic merch. I have been listening to Panic literally since I was like... 13. And I just really wanted their merch. Now I have the hoodie that I actually like. I don't think I need this anymore because I really don't like this design. I didn't like much of the merch there. I was just like, I need it. My little adolescent, teenage, young, creepy person, I'm rambling. But yeah, I'm not a fan of the design. So it can go. I've got all the panic merch I love, so I have no problem with moving this one on. Back to the black. We have Halsey merch. This design I think is sick. So it's got the tour dates and stuff on the front and then this like fire stapler. Is that a stapler? Interesting. This one will be kept. This here is just a Nike t-shirt which I think I stole from my dad. Did I? I'm not sure. I don't know where this came from. Things just kind of show up in my wardrobe sometimes. Does anyone else have that problem? No. But yeah I don't actually wear this one at all so this one can go as well. This black one is just another one from Kmart. Honestly I've had it for so long, it's like, I think it can go. I feel like it's a little bit stretched because I've had it for literally ever. I don't really need it anymore. Then also from Kmart, we have this beautiful thing. This is a, a Space Jam t-shirt. The best cartoon, hands down. How can you not love Space Jam? I apologise for that noise. Like, how can you not love it? And it's only from Kmart, so like, I only spent a few bucks on it. Fantastic. And then our last top is PewDiePie merch. I actually really like the design of it. I like the orange and black as well. So I think it's just all around cool t-shirt. So I will be keeping this one. And I'm not going to get into my gym clothes because they're whatever. I need to actually see what I wear when I get back to the gym. But that's all the t-shirts and hoodies done. Now we're going to move over to the second wardrobe. We're only doing a little section of that. But it's just more like nicer fitted tees, couple of long sleeves, things like that. Not just a straight up your big oversized graphics. We'll move over there. We are in a wardrobe too now, which is a disaster. It's not really sorted, kind of is. Like these are the more casual tops that goes into like turtlenecks, button ups, off the shoulder, and like this is all a mess. So in this section, we're just focusing from about here to here. So you'll see what I mean. They're all just like casual t-shirts, long sleeves. So that's what we're getting into today because they're still on the casual vein. Cropped t-shirts will not be included. They'll be with the crop tops in another video. This one can just go 
I wasn't going to include it. It's just a loose singlet top that's been really, really stretched out from cotton on. I only wear it on the shirts anyway, but it's super stretched to see her. Now let's actually get into it. First up is this Puma top. I clearly love my Puma and it's stuck to everything. Okay, great. So this is a Puma long sleeve that I've maybe worn once. I thought it was the coolest thing, but I've just never really worn it. Looking at it, it's not something I would buy now anyway, so it can just go. This will be on default. Two more long sleeves. These were the first PewDiePie merch that I bought. Basically, it is meant to come like this one. You see the yellow on the sleeves there? They're meant to come with yellow. And there was a printing error, so I got one that was all black and white, and then they sent out the correct yellow one. So obviously, I only need one of these, but I don't know which one. Do I keep the one that I intended on getting with the yellow, or do I keep this because it's like cool because it was printed wrong? I'm gonna have to ponder this one for a little bit. So one will go, but I'm not sure which one yet. I'm gonna pop them both aside to think about it. Let's grab a few more out. First top, which is from All About Eve. This one, I really like these sort of colors, really autumn colors, I guess. Or like 70s vibes. I do wear this one quite a lot. It's really flattering. So this is definitely staying. Oh, this is embarrassing. This one has a tag on it. And I bought it forever ago. That's a sign it has to leave. I don't know why I don't wear it. But like I can't justify keeping it if the tag is still on it after so long. It's got a cute little rose on it. But it's got to go. H&M, I find it so easy to just go into H&M and just buy stuff you don't need. So this is an example of that. Then I have this top here, which is from Rollers. And it says nice and i think it is very nice i actually wore this like three days ago so that definitely means it can stay so many white tops let's just grab them all and a banana top this banana top i think it's fantastic i got it from danger fuel definitely worn it a fair few times i'll be keeping this i should really wear it more than i do but i think it's just really cool and fun and i have this polo style top from h&m this is really nice it's a little bit sheer so you gotta wear a new bra with it but it fits really nice and fitted this is a keeper. I have another graphic from Uniqlo, but this one's, it's not like a crop top, but it's not a full length t-shirt, I don't think. I'm gonna just chuck it on to show you what I mean. It's really hard to show you here because I can't really put the trapper any further back. The leg of it is already touching my wall. No, I can't show you. I apologize. Oh wait, where's my stool? I forgot I had a stool. Okay, got my stool. So that's the length of it there. That's my belly button. There's my hip bones here that's the length i find it to be kind of an awkward length like too short can we really tuck it into anything nicely but then it's not really a crop it's just kind of weird also not really into the design of it anymore so this one can go i'm actually going to change back to my original shirt we have a basic white tee from cotton on which is a bit stretched out now and getting really really thin so this one can just go but i would wear these all the time now my favorite basic t-shirts but they don't last very long unfortunately i have this top from mpc which i can't remember where i bought it from and it's got these cute little slightly bell sleeves it's a little bit loose but it's an extra smaller it's the smaller size they had worn it a few times and I absolutely adore it. Then we've just got two more white tees that are just well loved but stretched out, especially this factory one. This used to be like a tight fitting, but it is so stretched out. Okay, I just dropped it, but I mean, we're done with it. So then I have this cotton on one, same as the other one. I did really love them, but again, it's just super stretched out and has been loved a little too much. I feel like I'm, I'm doing better in this section. Okay, let's grab, oh, that's the crop top. Get out of here, we'll come to you another day these ones first up is another h&m t-shirt that i've actually worn and i do get a fair amount of wear out of it so this one i will keep at least one of the h&m t-shirts so i can't say the same for that red rose one these two tops i feel like i wore this one in a video quite recently actually they're both from all about eve one is gray one is a red and white stripes like a little rusty red and i love them both and they're kind of like a go-to when i can't be bothered because they're cute you know they've got the frills they've got the buttons but it's a bit nicer than just a plain old t-shirt so they're both fantastic and then we have this top which is from all about eve again i love their stuff i honestly wish i bought more of these in different colors i went back looking for them after a couple months but they had obviously gone by then i just think it's fantastic it fits so nice it's so soft i wear this like all the time i need them to bring it back so i can buy more of them it's just such a flattering fit some basic black t-shirts this cotton on one it's pretty much the same as the white ones but obviously black and i can literally see my arm through the back of it like that 
proof to me that it needs to go it is so well worn and then this one this is a tough one this is from glassons it's an extra small i just find though it's really big around like the boob area i just don't have enough to fill it and so i always i always have to wear a push-up bra with this to kind of counteract that if i wear a bra that's got no padding or anything like the one i'm wearing today then it's just a disaster waiting to happen so this is something this is going to be a temporary key and you might be like kaylin why but there are days where you just need a plain black t-shirt and my other options are like almost see-through so i'd rather keep this for now and be on the lookout for something very similar because i love how it looks it just doesn't fit correctly oh i'm running out of battery again just quickly we have this ragged priest sort of jumper thing not really a top but i'm including it because it's kind of like footy material but it's like a jumper and it's like cropped i don't know i love this it's got really wide sleeves i just think it's really cool and fun and again all the bright primary colors which i'm clearly a fan of and then i'm gonna be honest my battery's running out so we're gonna speed through this last bit but they're all very similar styles so we're gonna just go through it quickly i don't need this many of the same style it's basically like a mock neck or quite high neck fitted tee and i've got a fair few and i want to keep all of them Ugh. this h&m one clearly still has the tag on it but i got it not long ago so i think i'm gonna hold on to it for just a little bit longer because i do love my yellow and then we've got a fair few of the same factory one i actually have four orange i've worn the orange one before a few times i really love it just it's fun to have plain things but in bright colors so they're a little bit different while still being fairly simple so this is a cute one to keep i think then i've got red white black and blue this time stripes i've also worn this one a fair few times i love my red i know i'm gonna wear it a fair few times more this purple one though i think can go it still actually has the tag on it it was like a one of those buy one get one at half price something so i think that's why i got it so yeah i don't know why i never really wore this one but i just haven't i mean there's no point in keeping it if I clearly haven't worn it by now. There is no point. So goodbye to that. I have a feeling I think I'm keeping all three of these. So let's just have a quick look at them. Got another factory one, all plain pink. And I am enjoying pink at the moment. Bright pink I think is really fun. So I will keep this guy as well. This one here I will also keep. I love tops that have this zip down thing. And I thought this was a really interesting colorway. It's a navy blue with like a neon slime green. Or it's a bit like yellowy green, but you know, you know, it's like neon and navy, which is really interesting. And it's got the cute little frills at the bottom and on the sleeves. And it's a bit more lightweight than the others as well. So this one will be kept. And this last one is from Tired of Tokyo. I think I also got off ASOS years and years ago. And I love my green as well, but I will keep this one as well. This is just a style I really like, so I'm not surprised I kept <laughs> so many of them. Maybe I could get rid of one. I don't know. I mean, one's gone. One out of the five of the same style. It's really bad. At the same time, like, I know it works for me, so I, I have options. I've already bought them now. I've already spent my money on them. So no, I'm gonna keep it, okay? We're ending on a keep, that's what we're doing. Let's put that guy back. And that is it. I still got rid of heaps, like look at this chunk. Look at this compared to what we started with. There's so much room. I feel like I did well. I kinda got a bit weak towards the end with these guys, but like other than that, I feel like I did pretty well with this section. So I think that's about it for this section. I don't really know how I think I went. I really had no expectations, but let me know what you guys thought. Was I too harsh? I don't think I was though. Was I not harsh enough? Is there anything I definitely should have kept or gotten rid of? Let me know. I will of course put my Depop in the link down below so you can buy some of this stuff and also stuff from future videos in this series, which is at Boots Caitlin, like I am on everything, including Twitter and Instagram if you wanna follow me there. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because like I said, this is going to be a few a video series. We only did a little bit today. It's still a fair amount to go as you guys saw. So definitely make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when those videos happen. I think that's about all I have to say. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day or night or whatever it is for you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.